Okay, so I've already applied a bit of the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the shade 105. Um, a bit of the LA Girl Pro Conceal under my eyes and I've used the Tarte Shape Tape to prime my eyes and I've just lightly powdered my face. Um, so this is what the palette looks like. It just comes in like a little shiny sort of plastic sleeve and you just slide out of here and then you've got... Well that's gone now, that's flown away. Um, you've got this little picture on the front which is sort of... Um, I can't think of the word, it's sort of like, you know, it's metallic and yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I really like the packaging of this, I think it's really pretty, but without being too much, I really like it. Um, and then when you open it up, you've got um, you've got a mirror there, um, and you've just got nine colours, I almost forgot how many was in there then. So you've got nine colours, you've got these two here which are shimmers, and then the rest of these are matte shades. So I'm going to go ahead and do like a demo on the eyes for you, then I'll come back and do some swatches and talk about price and what I think about this palette and whether or not I'd recommend it but for now I'm just going to go ahead and do a little demo for you and I'll probably zoom you in a little bit for that. Okay so I've just zoomed in a little bit now. Um, I don't want to zoom in too far in case it sort of goes out of focus. Um, yeah if you didn't know I'll probably make a video about this. This will probably be up, I'm not sure if it'll be up before or after but I have got a new camera and I'm literally using it for the first time right now so I will do my best but there might be some little bits that are a little bit out of focus if I'm like moving because I need to sort of figure out how to use it. But I'm going to go in with the palette and I'm going to try and use as many colours as possible. So I'm going to start off with this yellow shade here. I'm just going to take this on a fluffy brush and I'm going to start putting that through the crease. And um, this is, you know, yellow is a really quite an easy transition colour for like a lot of skin tones. Especially if you're doing something sort of coral or pink toned. So I'm just going to start off with that and then I'll start building up. Um, with some other matte shades and we'll probably do a shimmer all over the lid and on the inner corner. Um, I just had to hop off camera to grab some more brushes so sorry if um, I'm in a slightly different zoom to where I was before but I think it's about right. I'm just taking my Morphe E13 brush and I'm just sort of blending that a little bit. As you can see this yellow's definitely got some sort of orange in it. I, the brush was clean so but it does look a little bit more orange on camera. I'm really sorry about my nails. They're a complete mess. Um, but it's not just a pure yellow. There's some sort of orangey tones in there definitely. Um, I'm now going to go in with this brush from Real Techniques which is their base shadow brush and I've really been liking this brush with this palette because I find that Huda Beauty shadows you need something that's slightly more dense, um, especially for like the matte colours. It just builds up some, builds them up really nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I'm gonna probably take um, see these two colours here are quite similar, but I'm gonna take probably this one and this darker pink colour and start putting that into the crease a little bit. Yeah, like this yellow's come out quite dark. Um, it's definitely not super light so I think this would work on you know a lot of different skin tones and not just you know fair or medium skin because it's definitely very very pretty much very pigmented. <laughs> And the thing is with these shadows, um, they are quite pigmented, but I think if you over blend them, you could sort of lose that. So um, sometimes they look a little bit messy for a while, because I find that if you over blend too much, then you sort of lose that pigmentation. So I'd rather it looked a bit messy and then sort of, you know, clean up at the end when I've got all the sort of colour on that I want. Um, because... Um, I don't know, I think it's just the way that they're pressed, they're really pigmented and quite soft and you do get a little bit of kick up in the pan, I'll just show you. Um, yeah, so the shimmers, you get quite a lot of pick up, but the mattes, um, as you can see there's there's quite a bit, so sorry, I'm just waiting to refocus. Um, but yeah, like you can get issues like this, you see where it starts to go up a little bit too high, um, you can usually fix that just with a, a light colour and just sort of blend it out. But yeah, so now I'm going to go into the sort of warm brown colour here. I'm probably just going to use the same brush and put that more on the outer corner and then we'll go ahead and do the lid shade.
as you can see, you um, can get some fallout with these shades. Um, if there's any more on my face, I'll clean it up in a second, but I'm just taking off what I can see. Um, so now for the shimmery shades, I'm going to go and pop a little bit of concealer on the lid just to sort of um, prep it because I find that with these shades, because they're so sort of soft and powdery that they end up getting onto the lid and you sort of lose any sort of tackiness you've had from whatever eye base you've put down, whether you've put down concealer. So this is just the way I've been using it. Sometimes I use the P. Louise base. I'm not doing a cut crease here, I'm just literally laying down um, a sticky base. It sort of looks like I'm doing a halo eye, but I'm not. I'm probably just going to put that shimmery colour all over the lid. Um, I'm just going to take a flat brush. I'm just going to take this flat brush here. And yeah, so there's only two shimmery colours in here, and I would say they're quite similar. One's definitely more of a coral, which is this one, and this one's more of sort of a sort of bronzy pink. Um, I'm going to take the corally colour. Um, none of these have names, by the way. I'm just going to pack that onto the lid where I apply the concealer. You'll see in the swatches that the shimmery shades are quite similar. And um, you do get some fallout from these shimmers. Even if you use like um, water or Fix Plus or anything like that. Um, I don't necessarily like to use Fix Plus if I'm doing like an eyeshadow demo. Just because I feel like it's better to see how it works with just concealer and a base. Um, you know, to me, adding Fix Plus doesn't always make that much of a difference to me. But if it does to you, then you can go ahead and try using that instead. But I usually find um, just having a good base is the best thing for me. And I'm just going to take this right on the corner of the brush. I'm just going to lightly put some on the inner corner. So you don't really have like an inner corner highlight shade here. Um, if you've got a sort of a fairer complexion. But I can just about get away with using this on the inner corner without it looking, you know, too dark. And it looking strange. Or at least I think it looks alright. And then that's kind of the eye look mostly done. Um... I think I'm just going to build up a little bit more of that brown shade on the outer corner because I feel like we've sort of lost it a bit. See, that's the thing that I, I can find with these colours is that you can um, over blend them quite easily. And um, sometimes it's best to just go over them. Okay, so I've just put on some eyeliner and mascara and just a bit of uh, lipstick. I'm wearing the Kylie Dolce K lip pencil and the Fenty Beauty gloss bomb. Um, what was I going to say? Um, I'm going to do swatches now and I'm just going to take the Lorac, um, I can't remember if it's called the Lorac Pro, the Lorac um, eyeshadow primer. You can use like concealer or anything like that as an eye base but I just think this is good for swatches because um, if you just cover your whole arm in concealer it just runs out really quickly and like I've got a few of these. So I'm just going to use this as a base and this is a really nice base as well. And I'm going to be swatching the matte shades with a fluffy brush. Let me just find the one I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Real Techniques base shadow brush which is just looks like this. It's just a um, sort of fluffy crease brush. And then for the shimmer shades I'm going to use this colour. Um, this is actually a concealer brush. Oh, sorry, ignore my fingers. They look, like, filthy. Um, this is just a flat concealer brush, but it's really good for shimmer shades. And you can just use any synthetic flat brush, and that will, uh, will work fine with these. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do some brush swatches and some finger swatches, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done the swatches for you, and I just cleaned off my brush in this um, W7 Shade and Swap just like a dupe of the um, Vera Moreno colour switch. So I couldn't get them all down my arm, so I've put the last colour, which is this shimmery colour, I put that on my hand, but then you can see the two shimmers next to each other anyway, so you can see that they're actually quite similar. Um, so if I just show you the colours, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move off camera and then I'm going to stick my arm out, otherwise me and my arm are both going to fit into this frame. Okay, that's better. So you've got... Um, Brush swatch, finger swatch, brush swatch, finger swatch, brush swatch, finger swatch, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, these are the shimmery colours here at the end. Um, I'm just going to go in order and talk about the sort of the colours. So this one's like a bronzy pink. This is the first colour in the palette. Yeah, it's definitely a sort of a bronzy pink shade. Then you've got 
this color which is sort of I would say it's like a hot pink like a deep hot pink um, it swatches a little bit patchy but I think it performs best from the eyes then this one is one of those colors that looks very similar to another color and this is sort of a raspberry shade then you've got this here which is a sort of warm brown I wish this was a little bit deeper but I do really like this color then you've got this one which is a sort of um, it reminds me of a colour in the Desert Dust palette, I think it's called Musk. Um, it's sort of a light taupey brown shade. Then you've got this one which is a sort of a slightly mustard toned brown colour, it's got a bit of yellow in it. Then you've got this one which is a yellow with a hint of orange. And this is the other colour that looks similar to um, this one here, but it's actually very different as you can see. This is more of a light peach, whereas this one's sort of a, a more raspberry colour. And then right at the top there, that's the last one, which is the... It looks like I'm waving to you. Um, that's the last colour in the palette, which is just sort of a shimmery, peachy colour, I'd say. It reminds me a lot of um, Angelic. Don't mind me, just getting back in front of the curtain. It reminds me a lot of Angelic from the Desert Dust palette. Um, I really like this shade. Um, so I was watching Jen Love's reviews the other day and I noticed that in her swatches what she does is she sort of like wipes them off and see if to see if they sort of stain and I'd say the staining power on these is quite good but the little wipe test is definitely confirming that. I'm using this um, Marcel Gentle Makeup Removal for Sensitive Eyes. This is like, this is pretty powerful stuff, right? And I've tried to get these swatches off and like, it's not happening, they don't want to come off. I will say that Huda Beauty have got pretty impressive stain powder power power for their eyeshadows um probably i'd say the most long lasting eyeshadows i've tried are probably hue beauty and juvia's place i'd say um but yeah this is quite a struggle to get off so they might stain your eyes a little bit so i definitely be aware of that if um you don't want stained pink eyes but you can definitely you know sort of remove most of the stain it just might leave a little bit of a sort of a pink tint uh, okay, sorry for the slight change of clothes, but it's literally taking me like an hour to sort of sort my camera out because I had to go and transfer some files because I ran out of storage because I've only got a small memory card in here at the moment. And yeah, whatever. It's sorted now. Um, so I just want to round off with a few more points. And basically this palette, I would definitely recommend it. I actually got this for um, £21 because I used a code. Okay, I just had to go and um, take some files off of my camera because I've only got a really small memory card in here at the moment. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this review and basically the swatches for themselves, I really enjoyed this palette. It is quite small, people are complaining about the size of it, but these are still the same size as the colours you get in the big palette, so it's not like you're losing out on any product. Um, but I really, really enjoy this palette and I definitely recommend picking it up if you're into this sort of colour palette and I really like the way it looks on the eyes as well. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one and I have to go because my camera is about to run out of memory. Thanks so much for watching um, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!